see here this is the first floor already created now I want to create the same pipe for the second floor so for this what we will do we have to create first section so for section go to the view tab and simply create one section like this here okay and then right select this section simply right click go to the view and you can see here this is your piping for this first floor if you want to see how it looks like so simply change the view so you can see here this is your wall ceiling and this is your wall ceiling and its height is 10 feet your pipe is under the wall ceiling okay now now i want to create this pipe for the first floor as well so i want to change this a little bit and now at this time what we will do is simply select this elbow click on this plus sign to convert this as a T and simply right click and simply draw the pipe okay continue drawing the pipe up to here and now we have to create like this Now go to the second floor ceiling. You can see here your pipe is created here. The second floor simply change the view. So it's here. Now simply select this, right click, draw pipe to continue the. Okay. And then from here you have to draw one more pipe, right click. From here, draw the pipe up to here to connect this sprinkler. Okay, and one more pipe draw from here. Now simply connect the sprinkler. Okay, simply connect all the sprinkler to the main pipe. So I'm connecting all the sprinkler to the main pipe. Now I want to change this select and right click draw pipe now connect this sprinkler click on modify simply select this again and change this fitting type right click draw pipe now connect this one all the sprinkler you must connect so again click on modify down Okay, drag and drag and drop and simply click on end cap. Now this time you have to select this T and simply convert this. Right click again, draw pipe, connect this one. And again you have to change this. Click on plus sign, then right click, draw pipe, connect this screen. Okay, so as you can see here, I have already created the main pipe as well as the branch pipe and connected to the sprinkler. Now I want to click this one and I want to fix the end cap just to close uh, this loop. Select this one, click on cap, open end. 
Okay, and here is already place. Select this pipe and click on cap open end. Okay, so you can see here this is the pipe being fire protection pipe for this uh, second floor already created. Now check in the 3D view how it looks like. So as you can see here, this is your fire protection pipe uh, for the first floor as well as second floor. And uh, how to do the pipe sizing, we will see in the next tutorial, guys. Uh, so simply click on this view cube. Okay, so you can see here this is how your piping is looks like for the first floor as well as second floor. This is uh, the main pipe, this is the riser pipe, okay, and this is the main pipe, and this is the branch pipe, okay. And this is showing your fire department connection. They will connect their hoses here and they will charge the water. And that water can be used for the fire hose reel, a sprinkler, as well as other fire uh, equipment. Okay, so you can see here, uh, I think you learned how to create this uh, fire protection pipe uh, in Revit. And for this pipe sizing and uh, Pipe sizing we will see in this next tutorial, guys. I think uh, similarly you have to create uh, for any floors, uh, either it is uh, 10 floor, however it is. So similarly you have to keep creating the piping for this all the floors and connect to the sprinkler system. Okay, so I think you learn. Uh, from this video and uh, don't forget to watch my next tutorial so we have to in the next tutorial we will create this uh, how we will do the pipe sizing for according to this sprinkler number of sprinkler and all those things so please keep watching my tutorials and thanks for watching once again once again i would like to request you guys please do subscribe if, if you still not subscribe my channel so please do subscribing and uh, hit the bell icon as well and uh, to get the notification of my upcoming videos and uh, please like my videos and share my videos to your friends circle so that they will they can get the benefit as well so i think you learn uh, something from these videos so thank you once again thank you bye bye Thank you.